So IHMC uh, has a history of doing research in humanoid robotics, but it's always sort of been just that, just research. It's a new field, and it's a field that's still pretty academic. With the recent rash of, of disasters and things that have been coming up that just shows how poorly equipped we are technologically to deal with the new challenges that are, that are cropping up in our world as we begin to rely on more dangerous and more unexplored territory, um, it's become obvious that these academic uh, pursuits could be turned into really useful tools, things that can go out into the real world. And so DARPA has sponsored this DARPA Robotics Challenge to try and advance these humanoids into more than just little niche laboratory experiments and to do more than maybe just walk, or just have interesting arms, or, or just have interesting vision, but try and bring it all together. So when we, uh, when we saw the opportunity to do some really amazing research in this field, we wanted to jump on it. And that's why we entered into the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Um, in the summer of 2013, we completed and placed in first at the end of the virtual challenge, the first stage for software teams in the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Um, and since then, we've received our Atlas robot and have been putting our nose to the grindstone to try and prepare our real robot for the DARPA Robotics Challenge trials in Homestead, Florida. All right, well, let me give you an update of how we're doing. What's the, what's the date? It's the 22nd of October, right? Mm -hmm. Got uh, less than two months to go. So now the main challenge is getting that software that worked in the virtual challenge to work on the real robot. Some things are working really well, some things are working horribly. frustrating because our, our software worked so well in the virtual robotics challenge and now it's not quite working on the real robot um, for multiple reasons. We're a day away from packing up our robot to ship it off to the trials, and we've been working tirelessly uh, right up to the last minute. The amount of work we've done in the past two months and even the past two weeks has been tremendous. This, this preparation has included more than just trying to develop on the robot and, and adapt our software, but also to, to try and experience what it's like to operate a robot in these environments. And so we've put in a tremendous amount of time and energy into recreating the trials as they're going to be by building these test structures and setting up valves and tools and, and ramps and blocks and, and even things that aren't in the spec and just trying to be able to develop a system that's robust to any sort of real world scenario we could find ourselves in.
there have been lots of falls and there's going to be a lot more falls even at homestead but we're ready to ready to show the world what we've done so far